Hello, my name is Jonathan Turner and welcome to LSC 1103. This is your academic reading and writing course. So, today I'm going to be introducing a really important aspect of the course to you. That's the ePortfolio. So, we're going to start with a brief explanation of what an ePortfolio is in the context of LSC 1103. Here's an example of a student portfolio from a course that we've been teaching in the Western region this semester. So, let's have a scroll through and see what we have. The ePortfolio essentially is all of the work that the student has produced during the course. So here you can see some work she's done on paper and then uploaded to the ePortfolio. You can see that she's posted by week, sometimes once, sometimes twice in a week. And as we go down, you can see there her working out, for example, brainstorms, plans, all the way down to the beginning of the course. So, what is an ePortfolio? Well, basically, as you can see, the ePortfolio is where you will keep all of your work. You'll upload on a weekly basis and the teacher will be able to see and comment on the work as well as other students that you choose. Why are we choosing an ePortfolio instead of the traditional handing in your work, whether it be reading or writing? Well, because with an ePortfolio, as I've said, we can have constant interaction between teacher and student and probably more importantly, you can not only see other students portfolios to see how your classmates are progressing but you can also record all of the work that you've been doing not just the finished product so the e-portfolio really will be the central element on this course so that's the end of the first segment in the next segment I'm going to show you the platform that we're going to use for our e-portfolio so I'll see you in a second